everyone welcome back to my channel and I hope you guys are all doing well so in today's video I'm going to be doing a review for you guys and this is the um, black peel off mask and this was sent to me for review um, a few weeks ago um, usually whenever a company sends me any product to do a review on I never do the review right away because I want to be able to give myself some time to use the product number one to make sure the product does what it says and secondly and most, well, as a matter of fact, most importantly I have a reputation to maintain on my channel so I want to be able to be very very honest with you guys in my review and of course the company really needs to get an honest feedback as well because I mean of course everybody has d different skin types and different skin needs and products are going to react differently in anyone's skin so this is the Biovani uh, Barcelona uh, black peel off mask let me just tell you exactly what's on the box uh, first of all you get 100 ml which is 3.4 fluid ounces and you get 30 applications from this tube um, clean pores, perfecting skin, loved for acne, blackheads, and blemishes. And of course, again, one tube contains 30 uh, treatments and it's uh, suitable for all skin types and it's best of nature and it has no parabens. So I'm going to be showing you guys a few clips coming up and I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts as I go through this video clips. So let's just get started. So here I am, I'm in my bathroom and I do have the product in hand. And I'm getting ready to put this on my face and my skin would be completely cleansed and clean and dry and of course I always use a spin brush um, in all of my skin care routine every single night you have to make sure that your face is completely dry and com completely cleansed before you apply this product so this is the very 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 first time that I've actually put this product on and here I am in my bathroom I'm using my fingers to apply this uh, product on my face which was a mistake because you don't get a full application of this product it doesn't go on thick enough so whereby you can get a proper peel off with this mask and um, your hands are all messy and you know the sink was a mess and it, it's a problem so I would not recommend using your hands at all to apply this product. So after 30 minutes, I am trying to peel this off. Uh, the mask went on pretty thin. It wasn't thick enough. Uh, it gave me quite a painful peel off to be honest. And um, basically I was kind of almost digging into my skin, trying to find the end pieces so I can peel this uh, mask off. And at one point, um, I felt like I was getting a little bit frustrated. Um, so I ended up just rinsing the whole thing off and I thought, to hell with it. In any case, two days later, I was back at it again. And here I am with my face completely cleansed. And I use a brush this time to apply the product. And I would highly recommend that you get a makeup brush, get a flat brush. And this brush was from the Stila Cosmetics uh, line. line. Uh, I purchased a foundation and this brush came along with it and I didn't really like the foundation that much but I kept the brush and the brush gave you a much better application because you need to apply this product really thick on your face in order for you to get a full peel and so it can go on nice and thick and you can get a complete uh, effect and uh, result from this mask. So here I am, this has been sped up uh, just for time purposes. I, you know, I'm applying this mask all over my face. I basically focus uh, around the nose uh, mostly because you know you tend to have a buildup of block pores uh, around my nose all the time. I mean, most people do because you now we do make wear makeup every single day. And it's going all over my face, around the sides and everything like that. So it looks really good. And you know what? It's not a bad mask. It doesn't sting my, your face or anything like that. It's very, very comfortable when I put it on. Of course, when it dries, it feels a little bit thick on your face. So after 30 minutes or so, um, I'm getting ready to peel this mask off. And it was not a bad process to peel this off at all. Next, again, this was done twice a week uh, for two weeks. Uh, I'm showing you another clip where I put this on my face again, I focusing on the chin and around the nose. And in this clip coming up, you're going to see me trying to remove this mask. And I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm feeling at this time. Um, around the side of my face, around the forehead, in the middle of the nose. Um, and again, ladies, using a brush is the best um, 
way to apply this product because you have to apply it really thick in order for you to get a good peel off of this mask. So here after 30 minutes the mask is completely dry and I'm pulling this off and you can see that I am just basically rinsing just a little bit and blinking a lot because the pulling effect of this was just ridiculous and that's the part that I really didn't like um, about uh, taking this mask off and to be absolutely honest it was almost um, painful it was almost painful to remove this mask from my face the very very first time when I actually used this uh, product I couldn't use my spin brush because my face became super sensitive and it does um, say it, you can use this one to three times a week now the positive thing is when I remove the mask from my skin, my when I remove the mask from my face, my skin felt amazing, smooth and soft and supple and all the blackheads and the blood pores around my nose was completely, completely gone. My skin didn't feel like it was pulling and uh, tugging. It didn't feel dry. It felt really, 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 really good. The downside of this product is the fact that, you know, when it dries after 30 minutes, I mean, it pains a little bit to pull this off. Really, seriously, it hurts a little bit. And I will highly recommend to this company that you need to tweak the chemistry a little bit uh, in this product because, you know, you don't really want to have that tough, hard peel and pulling of your skin when you're removing this mask. I've used masks before uh, from different companies and the peel off was very soft and very gentle and very effective. I'm not saying this was not, this was very, very effective. But the pulling effect on the skin is really not good. I mean, it really did hurt and my eyes were just watering the whole time. Um, I would use this product once or twice a month just for maintenance. I'm not gonna use this twice a week. I'm not gonna use this once a week, twice a month just for maintenance purposes. Um, I always use my spin brush every single night just to get rid of all the blood pores and just to detox my pores and to remove all the blackheads around my nose. And when, when I was uh, when I actually used this product, I couldn't use I couldn't do that because my skin was so sensitive. Now, if you are somebody who are prone to break out with open sores on your face and open pimples. This product is not for you. If you have things like rosacea and you have seriously problematic skin, this really is not a good product for you to use only because when you're pulling this off your skin, it hurts a lot. It really does hurt. Again, not a bad product. Um, I will definitely use this again. I will definitely buy this product when it's finished. And I, again, like I said, I'm only gonna use this twice a month just for maintenance purposes because my skin is really really sensitive and I'm not going to use this twice a week three times a week it's not gonna work for my skin so that's my absolutely honest review for this product I mean great job with the company and like I said the chemistry of the, of the mask needs to be tweaked just a little bit because you don't really want your, your, you don't really want to be rinsing too much and be squinting when you're pulling off a treatment from your face that really is not good so that's the only thing i'm gonna say to you guys just change the, the, the formula just a little bit where it's not gonna have that effect other than that it's a great product i would use this personally twice a month like i said for maintenance and uh, because you want to be able to add certain routine to your skincare regimen just to help to maintain healthy and beautiful skin and uh, that's my honest review guys and hope you do like this video Give me a thumbs up, thanks for watching. And of course, this is your dad, and I shall catch you.